I was in an antique store, don't ask me why, but I found a guitar, and here's the thing about it, I normally would just walk right past a guitar in a pawn shop or antique store. Pretty much any guitar in a place like that isn't really valuable, it's just more of a novelty item and like a decor item. And this one, uh, you know, on first sight, got a broken string, doesn't look like it's had too much love. But what caught my eye was the brand who made it. And the fact that I've never heard of a star cat, it seems fake. The back indicates that it is a real Fender instrument, so of course I had to inquire with the nice ladies in the antique store. All right, thank you. $35. All right, I'll take it. <laughs> That's a steal. Sure? <laughs> yeah, I'm very sure. I've never, it's a uh, Fender Starcaster. I've never heard of a Starcaster. I've heard of Stratocaster, Telecaster, uh, Jazzmaster. This could be very rare. Yep. 35 bucks, I'll, I'll do that. And the important thing to do now, before we even research how much this guitar is really worth, if this is the only Starcaster ever made, have you ever heard of a Starcaster? I'm sorry. First of all, it's a really cool looking guitar. I mean, I know it's just a black and white Strat, but can you beat a black and white Strat? No. I'll give you a little once over what this guitar looks like right now, but I need to get this thing properly set up, and I could do it myself, but you guys are always asking me, do you actually play all your guitars, man? Yes, and I'm always rotating them. I need some other guitars set up. It's very hot and humid in Nashville, it's that time of year. Time to go to my buddy Doug at Rumble Seat Music. All right, we're all packed up, and in the wise words of Russell Wilson. Let's rock. Do we need to go through each one individually? No, nah, man, I, I like what you do. I do have one special fun project. I found this guitar at this antique store next to Home Depot. Okay. And it's a Fender Starcaster. And it is beat to hell. But I'm just wondering what you'll do to it to make it like the best guitar you possibly can. Yeah, it needs, it needs some adjusting. Several adjustments later. Feels sweet. <laughs> that rub. The old sandpaper neck, baby. Yeah, I cleaned it. I took it all the way apart, cleaned everything up. All those pots were loose, tightened those up, cleaned them out. The tones weren't working, fixed those. Cut the nut. Actually leveled her frets, recrowned them and shit, man. Polished that out. Wow. Pretty much went through the whole thing. <laughs> Feels great, though. Well, cool. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know what these pickups are.
Worth it? Worth 35 bucks? Worth more than 35 bucks? Yes. In fact, I actually did go on reverb and <laughs> I found this guitar. It's not as rare as I thought at all. As you can see on the used marketplace, these things go from anywhere from 200 bucks to a few hundred more. First iteration of the Starcaster was sort of a gimmick guitar that wasn't very popular that became popular later as happens with weird guitars like that. Johnny Greenwood from Radiohead played the semi-hollow version of this thing. This is nothing like the original Starcaster. I don't even know why they made this. It's just like a Squire. But actually, I take that back. This is so much better than any Squire that I've played. Even the new ones. I don't know, it's probably because Doug set it up. I figured I'd build in a non-expensive versus expensive guitar shootout for this video just to let you know what this thing can do, how it measures up to an old vintage Strat. And I think it did pretty good. Got slightly different Sonic offerings, but nonetheless, the tone is right in here anyway, right? <laughs> Isn't that what we tell ourselves? But I wanted to put this video out after the video where I just got that amazing Robert Eggle Macon guitar, uh, which is a very expensive and high quality guitar. And I just wanted to demonstrate, it really doesn't matter how much you pay for anything. You have to practice. That's how you get good at stuff. That's how you sound good. It doesn't matter what you have. I know that's like probably the most cliche thing ever said by anyone who covers gear on YouTube in this way, but gosh, it's never more obvious, right? <laughs> just using a plug-in, like a $50 amp plug-in from Guitar Rig. That was what I was using there. Sounded cool, right? Again, very inexpensive. I wasn't using some crazy boutique amplifier. So yeah, the most important thing we've learned is to always just have fun. I just bought this. I would never buy a guitar out of a pawn shop unless I did this for my work. And I'm so glad that I do. And I appreciate your support that allows me to do this. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it's worth your time. And until next time, keep shredding.